What is up everyone, we're going back again with another video and today is going to be something a little bit different. I haven't quite done a video like this before but it's basically just going to be a bit of trivia and facts about my Blu-ray collection, my personal Blu-ray collection. Because the other day on a separate video I was talking about the oldest movie that I own and I won't tell you what it is right now because I will come to it but it just got me thinking what was the first Blu-ray I ever bought, what's the newest movie in my collection, what was the last Blu-ray I ever bought. And I thought, you know what, I'm just going to put this into a video and hopefully some of my subscribers might enjoy this. And there's about 14 different little subjects or topics here that I've got. I'm going to show off a few Blu-rays in the collection, basically. So, basically, I'm going to show off my favourite movie, my most watched Blu-ray, my oldest film, like I said, stuff like that. And hopefully you lot will enjoy it. And, you know, if any of you uh, have your own channels who watch this video and you enjoy it, feel free to do it yourself. And I just a little idea I come up with in my head. So, yeah, let's just start with a movie now that set me on my journey to being a Blu-ray collector. I did own a lot of DVDs before doing this, but yeah, this one really, really pushed me onto collecting Blu-rays. And what it was, the PlayStation Three came out in about two thousand and six, I think, two thousand and eight, maybe something like that, and it had a Blu-ray collector blu-ray player on it so i just wanted to get one of those because i wanted the console and the blu-ray player as well and i was killing two birds with one stone so i bought metal gear solid 5 for the playstation 3 i'm a big metal gear solid fan and i also bought a blu-ray and this was it funnily enough not the greatest movie ever made or one that i watch a lot of times i think i watched it once when i first bought it and it wasn't bad and this is shoot em up and i do apologize if there's any glare on these blu-rays i will I've done a test video before and hopefully there isn't, but this is a pretty good action movie with Clive Owen and Monica Belushi, I believe. And it's just a bit of a mad one, you know, he's like, <laughs> he, he overcomes obstacles that are impossible, really. And it's just very, very far-fetched and stuff, but it was quite a good film. But I wanted to notice the quality, what the quality jump was. And to be honest, I didn't see a massive difference in this. But there are Blu-rays that I've bought right now that I have watched again on DVD just to see the difference. And there is a big quality, you know, there is a big push in quality. So if I watch the DVD of this and then watch this, I could probably see the better difference. But straight away, I wasn't actually blown away or anything. But now that I have seen DVD quality and the amount of Blu-rays I've bought, there is big differences in Blu-ray. So... This was the first Blu-ray I ever bought. It cost me £20. And this is probably in CEX now for about 50 pence. So there you go. That is the first Blu-ray I ever owned. That shoot 'em up starting Clive on. But let's just get on to probably the best movie that I own in my collection. Not the best Blu-ray, but the best actual movie. And that is the godfather part two now I recently watched this and the first one with my fiance didn't bother with the third for quite a few reasons actually but i was sort of thinking is the first one actually better now and after thinking about it a lot i do still prefer the second one but it's very very close the two of the greatest films ever made in my opinion this one i just love the pre uh, you know the prequel part with robert de niro and stuff um I just think it's a perfect film. Michael Corleone, Al Pacino as Michael Corleone is fantastic in this. And this is out of a Godfather box set. Um, but this is probably the best movie that I own in my Blu-ray collection. And that does bring me on to the worst movie that I own in this Blu-ray collection. And I couldn't really pick out of these two. They are in probably in my top five worst movies of all time. The both of them. So the first one I've got here. Is an arrow version of Island of Death. Now I know a few people do like this movie, but yeah, I thought it was pretty bad. It was terribly made. The acting is atrocious. Everything about it is horrific. I just even for a low budget film, you know, I was expecting it not to be the greatest movie I ever made or anything, but it was really, really bad. And this was actually banned in the UK for quite a while. But it's either this or something at the total opposite end of the spectrum, which is actually big budget. And it is this. <laughs> Batman versus Superman. I've heard this movie grows on you. 
you know, if you watch it again, and it's not actually that bad, but I have no desire to go back to this movie at all. Uh, I think I watched the three hour extended cut of it, and it was the worst three hours of my life, I think. I just have no desire to revisit this film, apart from when I do my Batman series review, where I'm going to review every Batman movie in the future, maybe closer to the time the new one comes out. Um, and I rank them all and everything, and I feel like this is going to come bottom of the list. Yes, even below Batman and Robin, which says it all really, doesn't it? But these are probably the worst two movies that I own in the collection. But I'm, in a way, I'm sort of glad to have this one, this Island of Death, because it was hard to get in the UK a long time ago. But And I'm sort of glad to have this as well, because it completes my Batman collection, really. But not movies that I'm going to rewatch anyway, anytime soon. Apart from when I do my Batman franchise review. And I might do this when I review some a horror revisited or something. I don't know yet, but these are the two worst movies that I own in this collection for sure. I couldn't pick. And it's kind of weird because one cost hundreds of millions to make and the other one looked like it cost about £20. So <laughs> it's kind of weird that they can both be in the two top five worst movies ever made, in my opinion. Now, this is the movie that inspired me to do this video, and it is the oldest movie that I own in this collection. And this is from 1928, and it is The Man Who Laughs. Now, I watched this the other day, and I was blown away. I thought it was really, really good. I am planning on doing a cinema revisited review for this. I'm in the process of it. This is from 1928, and it stars... Oh, I forgot the guy's name. It is on the back here somewhere. Victor Conrad. Give me one second. <laughs> He's basically the guy who was in the start of this start of this movie inspired Bob Kane to write the character of the Joker in the Batman comic. So that's what made me want to watch this film. Conrad Veidt, Conrad Veidt, I think that's how I'm, I'm pronouncing it. But he was in the inspiration of the Joker in the Batman comics. And I ever I wanted to watch this movie ever since I watched that Batman documentary. And when you recap finally brought it out on Blu-ray, I jumped at the chance. And I was really, really surprised. I thought this was going to be a horror movie, but it wasn't. It's a silent film. It's more of a romance, drama, tragedy story, really. But it's a really, really good film. I highly recommend it. It's a silent film. However, I do plan on breaking the record soon um, for oldest movie in my collection. Because I am looking on getting Nosferatu, a movie I've never seen, but I want it in my collection. So I'm looking on getting that at some point. And that'll be the oldest movie I ever own. I think that's from 1922, so that's nearly 100 years old. This, at 92 years old, is the oldest movie in my collection right now. Recently it was Dracula from the Universal Monster movies, but now it's this, The Man Who Laughs. Highly recommend this movie. Glad to have it in the collection. And that brings me on to the newest movie that I own. I think it was this, um, when I was looking through the collection. And this came out in March of 20. March 2020, and that is Onward, a Disney animated Pixar movie. I haven't shown this off yet. It is going to be in my Blu-ray and 4K updates coming in a few weeks, hopefully. Um, but, yeah, it, it, I think this is the newest movie I own. I thought it was The Gentleman, but it's actually this. It's not a bad film. Um, it's on Disney Plus now, I think. It's a good little movie about, you know, these trolls who live in this troll world or something. But there's all sorts of these different mythical creatures there. And it's, it's quite good. I enjoyed this. I went to cinema and I've done a full review on that actually. Um, but next up is going to be the best bargain in my collection. So this is the... When I... I haven't really... I haven't actually seen this but I'm, I've heard it's really, really good. And it's actually a TV show. And I got this for 25 pence. So, yeah. That is Luther. When do you ever get a Blu-ray for cheaper than 25 pence? This is Luther Season 1. And my friend Jamie is always telling me how good it is. I really want to get around to this soon. It does sound like it's going to be my cup of tea. But I can't say too much on this. But a TV series, a whole series for 25 pence. You can't really go wrong, can you? So, yeah. Looking forward to watching this one. And that brings me on to the most expensive Blu-ray that I have bought. And now, these one, there is a few in the future of this video, which I'll show in a few minutes, that might have cost more than this, but they were gifts off my fiancé. So, this is the movie that 
most expensive that I bought with my own money, and it's not too expensive considering some of the things people buy, but this was only about £30, I think. And that is Star Wars The Last Jedi. Now, I do have Rise of Skywalker coming, the steelbook to that, and that'll be the most expensive movie that I own, but it's not out yet. Well, it is out, but this is a different edition I'm getting because I missed the boat with, 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 with I missed the boat with them Zabby steel books. I just totally forgot to order it. It was sold out, but they are bringing a new steel book out now, and I have every Star Wars movie on steel book. Hence the reason I want to get it on steel book. But this is a steel book version of the Last Jedi. Some people hate this movie. I kind of thought it was all right. Um, I just think every Star Wars movie is quite good. I don't hate any of them. Um, episode 1 was kind of a slog to get through really but yeah that's just me you know personally I think episode 7 is the best one shoot me if you want <laughs> but I do um, but this this wasn't bad I didn't think but the main reason I paid up 30 odd pound for this is because I wanted I wanted all the Star Wars movies on Steelbook um, so yeah that's the Steelbook of The Last Jedi probably the, the, the dearest movie that I do own Next up is my most watched Blu-ray. Now this isn't probably, this is probably tied at the top with two of the movies from my most watched movie of all time. And one of them is something I'll talk about in a minute. But as a Blu-ray, I think I've put this on more than anything because I go on nights out sometimes and I come home and just lie in bed and put a Blu-ray on and it's usually this movie. I usually always pick it because ju I just love it. I always fall asleep to it as well. But that is Terminator 2, the Skynet edition. I bought this really, really on in my Blu-ray collecting journey, you know, I think it was one of the first 10 movies I owned on Blu-ray, and I just watched it so many times, I'd never get bored of it, it's a fantastic action movie, Arnold Schwarzenegger, is the re this is the reason he's my hero, you know, my movie hero, if you like, um, I just, what more can you say about Terminator 2, it's so watchable, that's why it's my most watched Blu-ray, so... There you go. I've owned this for a very long time. I do plan on... There's not many movies that I'll double dip on 4K for. If I own a Blu-ray, I own the Blu-ray, you know what I mean? But I've done all that with my DVDs, you know, replace them all with Blu-rays. I don't plan on doing that with loads of 4Ks, but if they bring a good edition out of this on 4K, I will maybe pick it up because I've heard the one that is out now hasn't even got the director's cut on it, which is the best version of that movie, and I've heard it doesn't actually look great either. Uh, and I actually went to cinema to see that 4K version, um, but I was disappointed when they didn't show the, the director's cut because I love all them moments that they throw in, all the deleted scenes and stuff, but this is a good version for now, so I'm really, really, it's a really, really quality, when I was talking about I didn't see the big jump with Blu-ray, this is a good looking Blu-ray, so that is Terminator 2 Skynet Edition, my most watched Blu-ray. Now, I've picked another two here because I kind of don't know which my favourite edition is. So this is going to be my favourite Blu-ray edition. And there's two movies here that I just can't pick from. So I'll show you them both. And this first one is The Hitcher. My fiancé got this for Christmas for me. This isn't out in the UK. This is like a region... I think it's a German release or something. Um, but... This this is like a digibook edition, so I'll just open it up. It's got the disc in there, and this is a fantastic movie, by the way. If you haven't seen The Hitcher, please watch it, especially if you like horror, thriller. Look at how it is fantastic in this. And it's got another disc at the back there, with all the bonus features, I think. And, of course, I love this poster. So you've got that poster there, and that poster. And it's like a digibook. Opens up. You know, a really nice edition. The only problem is it's all in German, but I really like this. I really do. It's a nice, nice edition. And I really think Arrow should really release this in the UK. I don't know why they haven't. Because they've got, like, this Hitcher book that you can get from their store, which is weird. They just haven't released a film on Arrow. And <laughs> there's a guy in the Big Pauly Facebook page that I'm in called Luke Wood. And he <laughs> always thinks Arrow are going to release the Hitcher every month and they never do. I feel kind of bad for the guy, but <laughs> hopefully the will it for you soon, Lou. But yeah, this is a really nice addition. You know, really, really nice. I, I really like this. Thanks to my fiance for picking this up for me. And the other one is, of course, the Robocop Arrow edition. This nice little box set here. I love this. 
Um, got this one, director's cut, the theatrical cut, so many extras on this, it's fantastic, Arrow done such a good job with this, and when I'm talking about Terminator 2 being my most watched Blu-ray, this is probably my most watched film, because I've been watching this since I was a kid, I loved it, it's just my favourite movie of all time, not the best, but my favourite, there is a difference I feel, you know, one that I can rewatch any time, I've just got, a, it's part of my life if you like i just love robocop and this is a really nice addition with you know you got the disc in there you know got all our cards behind there and everything nice two discs and a nice big thick booklet look at that big thick booklet there i won't show you it all but yeah it's all sorts in there so yeah i don't know i don't know I, I will pro there's also a poster in here, I won't get it out or anything. I never know what to do with the posters in my box sets, whether to put them on the wall or just keep them all together. I mean, they're only they're only cheap on eBay, aren't they, anyway? So, but that is Robocop and The Hitcher. I don't know which edition I love best, but I probably would lean more towards Robocop because it's my favourite movie of all time. But these are both fantastic films, both fantastic additions. And if you haven't seen a hit yet, definitely, definitely watch it. And if you haven't seen Robocop, I don't know what else to say. So next up, they are my favourite additions. Now let's just pick out my least favourite Blu-ray. Now I know I've showed off the two worst films in the collection, but this isn't as bad as them two films. However, this is... The only Blu-ray in my collection that if it went missing or got damaged or anything, I wouldn't really care. I don't like getting rid of things, but this annoys me. And I'll tell you why. And this movie is Jack Said, starring Danny Dyer. And the reason I don't like this, it's not a very good movie to start with at all. It's not great. It bored me to death. It's trying to be so clever like Sin City, and it's not a patch on it. And I just... The main reason I don't like this in my collection is because it's the second part of a trilogy. And I didn't know that when I bought this. And I have no desire to get the, the other two movies. Even if I see them really cheap. Um, because I just don't want to watch them. And this is just like kind of stuck in the middle with you, if you get me. Without the other two on the, on the other end. It's just... Not an addition that I really want in the collection, but I just can't throw it away because that's the way I am. That's the nature of me. I don't like getting rid of things, but if this went missing, I wouldn't really care that much, if that makes sense. It's just, yeah, my least favourite Blu-ray, really, which is kind of a shame, but there you go. Next up is my favourite Steelbook. Now, I'm not a big Steelbook collector, even though I get all the Star Wars movies on Steelbook. I only have about 15, 16 to 20 steelbooks in the whole collection, and I own over a thousand movies, so... But this is my favourite steelbook, probably, out of them all, and that is Pulp Fiction. Now, it's got the J card on it here, which is kind of annoying sometimes, but it's got... My favourite part of this steelbook is the cover. I love this poster behind the camera there. I've got a big Pulp Fiction poster. I will show off this room one day when it's done. It's just not complete yet. And you will see that poster there, but it's one of my favourite movie posters of all time. There's another video in itself, isn't it? My favourite movie posters. Hmm. I'll note that one down. Um, but I just love the whole feel of this Blu-ray. You know, I love the way that looks like it's a magazine and it's ripped and stuff. And it's just always been a favourite poster of mine. You got the back there. The only thing that bothers me is Samuel L. Jackson doesn't have his, like, afro, which is kind of weird. Uh, but... He's got an afro through the whole film, hasn't he, really? But it's kind of weird, but it's still a nice back there. You've got the spine. And just open it up, and there is the disc. Another in my top five movies of all time, this. And it's just like the dance scene, but it's getting, you know, behind the camera. You can see the camera and stuff. So, yeah, it's a nice steel look. It's a nice steel look. Yeah, but... I know there are better steelbooks than that out there, but it's just, I'm not really a massive steelbook collector. If I see them and I like it, or it's one of my favourite films, I might grab it on steelbook, but I'm not really that fussed on them. 
Next up is going to be my favourite box set. Now, this might be the most expensive movie in this collection, but like I said before, my fiancé bought this one for me, so I didn't personally pay for this. She wouldn't tell me how much it was, but I remember it quite being quite dear at the time. And that is The Lord of the Rings, the Extended Editions. Um, I have watched these on Blu-ray, and they look fantastic. I know there's a 4K edition coming out, but I've got really no desire to get that at the minute. Maybe if it comes down in price or something, I'm sure it's like £150 or something. But I'm really happy with this at the minute. It's, it's a fantastic box set. <laughs> what more could you want, you know, from Lord of the Rings? And inside, we've got the map of Middle-earth and stuff. And we do have individually cased all three of them. Right there. So there you go. Bear with me. <laughs> and that's the back. So, yeah, really, really nice, thick box set. This is what box sets should look like. You know, not these one hammer ray case with four movies in. These are the ones that we want. So, yeah, and really nice. I love these movies, you know. All three of them would be in my top 20 movies of all time. So, yeah, really nice, hard box set there. Lovely addition. Again, thanks to my wonderful fiancé for buying me that. Next up is going to be my favourite 4K that I own. And it's a fairly new movie. About a year old. And that is Joker. Um, I went out day one and bought this. Which is, again, it's not something I really, really do. Um, sometimes I do, but I knew I had to have this day one. Because I was itching to watch it again. I loved it on the cinema. And the day I bought it, I watched it. But I watched, I think it came out on a... Can't remember when it came out, but that weekend I, I watched it again. I'm still blown away. I love this film, but as a 4K, it looks brilliant as well. It's a really, really good quality picture. And I knew when I bought this, they're going to bring more editions out of this, but I don't care. I just had to have it. And uh, yeah, it's just a nice, nice 4K, really. Yeah. But yeah, great film. Joaquin Phoenix, fantastic. Robert Dale was really good in this as well, but just a fantastic movie. Again, this would probably be in my top 20 movies of all time. Even though it's only come out like a year ago, I do have an urge to watch this again soon. And I'll talk about it on the channel one day in a full review, like a detailed spoiler review one day. Um, don't know when, but I will. Fantastic movie, fantastic 4K. And this brings us to the end of my Blu-ray trivia collection fact video if you like and it's just going to be the last movie that i bought and it is the witches the box set from hmv and i do have a full unboxing of this if you want to check it out i'll leave the link down below but it's just i know i've done that video about three or four weeks ago but the reason i haven't bought any more is because I started the job this month and it's gone from weekly pay to monthly pay. I'm really, really happy in this job, by the way. It's fantastic. Um, really, really happy there. But the reason I haven't bought any, I just have to be slightly careful because I've got to wait a month for me first paycheck, basically. So I haven't really been buying too many Blu-rays. However, there are a few in the post now um, because yeah, I can sort of start spending again now. But there are a few in the post. And obviously I've got savings and stuff. But I don't want to go into that for Blu-rays. So there are more Blu-rays on the way. And I'll hopefully get this Blu-ray um, 4K update up soon. When i got a few more editions coming. But look out for another unboxing that's coming in the next few days. But I'll leave the unboxing for this down below. This is a fantastic movie from my childhood. And I just had to have it. It's a nice edition um, of The Witches with Angelica Houston in. So much better than that remake we just got. But yeah, there you go. I'll leave the unboxing for this down below if you want to check it out. So that is my Blu-ray trivia collection. I was trying to think of some more little facts along the way. But this is all I can really come up with. So if you want a sequel to this one day, who knows? Let me know down below what other things I could have put in this. But I think I pretty much covered the general questions that maybe people would ask about your collection if they come and see it. But... There you go, I hope you all enjoyed this video. Uh, like I said, if there's any YouTubers out there who see this video and want to do it themselves, that'd be really, really nice to watch your versions as well. Um, yeah, 
hope you enjoyed the video guys um got a few more videos coming in the next few days sorry i've been slacking a little bit lately it's just because i'm adjusting to life at my new job and stuff but i'm back on the trail now so keep your eyes out for more videos coming soon if you want to comment about any of these movies leave it down below i will reply to every single one of you i promise take it all easy guys and i'll see you all next video